So this is the video for the 26 Star Trap Pump House, Autumn Ridge. So we'll walk around the outside of the trailer, pointing out features, and then we'll continue inside. So you have a grab handle outside, it makes it easier for entry. Stairs fold up, and they also have a stabilizing jack at the bottom, just pins out and has adjustable legs. Screen door, like so. Main door with a latch on the outside of the trailer to hold it. Uh, power awning with speakers at each end. Here, pass through storage with a light. Here's the handle for your stabilizer jacks. There's one located on all four corners of the trailer. After you get your trailer leveled side to side and front to back, then you drop these and just put a little bit of weight on them. They're just to stabilize it. <clears throat> um, so there's this handle. There's also a one for a drill right here on the side in a little holder. This handle here an emergency backup for the power jack right at the very top in the event that the jack you lose power or what have, what have you you can uh, use that to crank the trailer up okay um, you have a battery on board you have two 30 pound propane bottles with a crossover regulator draw off whatever one you're pointed to and it'll automatically after it empties that one it'll switch over to the other one you have a seven-way trailer connection safety chains a breakaway cable that's hooked up when traveling <coughs> here's the other spot on the other side of your storage you have a hose here, and I'll show you where the port is to plug that in. 30 amp power cord with the twist lock. Um, magnetic holders on the doors, apartment doors, you'll see. There you go. Uh, tinted glass throughout. Um, furnace exhaust. Don't put anything near there that's flammable. Um, dry camping, there's your port to fill it up. Fill your holding tank with uh, fresh water. You have overhead uh, exhaust fan for your stove right here. Um, back of the fridge vent. There's a little LED light when you're plugged into power. Illuminates. And the docking station. So you put your white hose here. And there's a lever here that shows you city water if you're hooked up to water or you can fill your tank through here too <clears throat> this here is to flush the black tank make sure you have the termination valve open if doing so um, here's where you're going to plug that blue hose in and you have hot and cold water um, also there's a cable connection in here or satellite uh, you have your gray and your black. So when you're at your dump station or been to the honey wagon, always pull the de the black valve first, then the gray. Have your sewer hose connected before you pull either one. The sewer hose is located in the back bumper. <coughs> Trailer is prepped. prepped. You could add a uh, rear camera. You could also add a barbecue. You are prepped. It has a plug in here for gas on the back. Hot water tank. Um, propane. Automatic ignition. I'll show you where that is inside the trailer. Okay, you have a 110 outlet on this side. So we'll continue on inside. 
There's a light here for the awning light. Also right here, a, a switch for your awning. And there you are. Now the awning is just a sunshade. Heavy rains or winds, make sure you retract it. Um, the other switch here, interior lights. And they turn on all of them, but you can turn them off with a button individually. Uh, monitor panel tells you how everything is. Battery, fresh water, black, and gray. Um, this is your water pump. If you're carrying water on board, this is what you're going to pump it to all your taps and shower and your toilet. Water heater, this is where you're going to turn it on. Now, making sure you have your propane bottles on beforehand. And that's where it'll light. Um, what else we have here? So, dining room table goes down to a bed. You have a TV. Your thermostat. Um, select what you want. There's just the fan on. Mode, there's the snowflake, that's your coolant. Hit it again, there's your furnace, and there's off. Okay, quite simple, and temperatures to the right. Um, bunks with lights, upper bunk, USB port, and a 110 power supply. Uh, bottom bunk. Just the 110 power supply. Um, GFI for the bathroom sink. So the uh, safety precaution. So if you have any outlet that doesn't work, make sure you check the GFI because some of them are wired into this and uh, make sure it's not true. Uh, bathroom has a fan and a light switch. Um, bathtub, so the toilet tells you on the lid how to use it. Press the foot pedal partially down, fill the bowl with water, use toilet, and then all the way down to flush. All right, um, fridge. So the fridge, the first button is the power button, second button is the mode, so whether you want power or the teardrop propane and the third button is your temperature setting uh, quite a large fridge and freezer microwave just like the one at home um, overhead fan and uh, light cooktop now make sure that's totally cooled down before closing the glass again because you could crack the glass turn your burner on select the burner and turn the striker it's that simple and same with the oven hold it in on the start and turn the striker to light there's also um, a light feature on this and an oven feature and then lots of lights there's an adapter that's supplied to take the trailer from 30 amps to 15 and one toilet chemical to get yourself started <clears throat> should add toilet chemical after every dumping and uh, put a little bit of water inside the tank too with a fresh chemical. Um, sofa couch goes to a bed. Just lift up and let down. It's that easy. All the blinds just pull down. And master bedroom. Storage up top. Storage on each side. And storage under the bed. Um, also a privacy door here. There's also a spot in the master bedroom for uh, another TV. 
you'll see where to place the bracket and uh, your camera and fire drill right there. Fire extinguisher is by the exit and entry door. Propane detector put down on the bottom of the dyna. And that concludes our tour. Uh, enjoy your new trailer.